everyone, this is my review on my Nikkor EA4 860-lumen uh, pocket flashlight. Let you know what it comes with. It comes with a uh, case. It's got Velcro, belt strap, and a clip on top. You got your light. And you have your, a. Uh, it also comes with a, a lanyard. It takes four AA batteries. It has five settings from low to high and then it has a strobe and SOS uh, it says it's ready to go out to 283 meters I spotted a coyote the other night at I want to say about 200 250 yards I lit him up pretty good I seen him playing his day I'm gonna turn the light off right now and I'm gonna show you what the settings look like inside the house then we'll take it outside and see what it looks like but before I get to that I just want to let you know man I got this off walmart.com they were outsourced by Tool King this is a great light if you spend the money and get something like this, you're probably never going to need another flashlight again. I mean, as long as you don't lose it, this is a great flashlight. It's more than what you need. I mean, I hardly ever use it at 860 lumens, but if you need to light up an area really good, then this is the light to do it. And it's this is the white light. It's not the neutral, so it's more of a blinding light. I mean, you put that in somebody's eyes, it hurts. I mean, they see a spot for a while. Well, I'm going to turn the light off right now, and I'm going to show you what it looks like inside the house. So as you can see, it's pretty much pitch black in here. I'm going to go through the settings and show you what it looks like. Now, what you want to do is give it a half click. Your half click is going to cycle through your five settings. And if you're off, if you have the light off all the way, one hard click, and you're going to go 860 automatically. One hard click turns it off. So you go half. This is the first. This is the second setting. Third setting. Your fourth. Oh, sorry. One, two. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Actually, it's only four settings, not five. My bad. My mistake. So you give it a hard click. You're at 860 lumens. You see that lights it up. I mean, you light everything up in this house. This is a blinding light. This is a bobcat I killed last year, or actually this year. I mean, this is a blinding light. Let's go ahead and I'll show you what the strobe looks like. Now, from here, you want to give it a real quick double click hard clicks not half clicks double click you should go to strobe you got your strobe i mean someone who breaks into your house and you put this on them with your pistol behind it it's gonna freak them out from here if you give it a half click and hold it you switch off to sos now i'm gonna go outside and i'm gonna show you uh what it looks like outside hopefully i can do justice with this camera all right, now we're outside in my backyard. Let me show you what it looks like right here. See, it's I'm talking. These are about where that tree is about 25 yards. I mean, it'll light up your whole house. I mean, it's pitch black out here. It lights everything up. Well worth the money, man. It's a great light. I love it. So, in conclusion, do I recommend this light? Oh hell yeah, this is a badass light. I mean, I've impressed everybody with it. Now, real quick, I want to let you know that after you put your batteries in, you see these little prongs right here on the side of your coils? These prongs need to match up to these holes right here, these two. Because I, like a dummy, I was over here trying to mess with it and I couldn't even get the damn cap on. But uh, in case you have the same problem, which you probably won't, I don't even know why I had it, but I did. Uh, you want to make sure these holes line up with this right here. Yeah, so overall, would I recommend it? Yes, I would. Is it a badass light? Yes, it is. Can you spotlight anything at night? Yeah, you can. I mean, it's not as powerful as the uh, TM26. I mean, this is a bad boy right here. You can see that TM26. It's pretty much just four of these lights. But um, that's another review. So, yeah. I think they're out of stock right now, but if you get your chance, go on eBay or whatever, and if you have a chance to get your hands on one of these, you'll be making the right move.